What is going on? I'm Zedmont. We are recording this video the same day as I recorded my previous video. Gonna release it tomorrow. You don't care about any of these details, let's be honest. Anyways, we are gonna jump right into warships. My video earlier this morning, I was at mid early 17. Now I'm at late mid 20. Bit of a push, as you can tell by that little red timer up in that right hand corner. That is when you know someone has played Boom Beach a bunch. That is a lot of bees. Anyways, I have jumped up into the top 10 of New Zealand just like that. As you can see from this replay log, doing pretty darn good. Red Dog, big shout out to you, beating me by 3 seconds. Otherwise, 223, 244, 209, getting some good times against some people have not failed in this many attacks have not failed in a lot of attacks i stopped trying to be fancy and what do you know i started winning quick review of the tech tree where we left off on my last video i had just gotten the med kits was going for troop damage spoiler alert i now have the troop damage i also got those two boom cans that was part of the reason i was headed up that way I also spent some tokens, maxed my shock launchers, simply because there wasn't anything on the horizon I needed to spend tokens on. My next purchase is right there, unlocking that extra gunboat energy. Don't have bullet, don't have bombardiers, don't have Kavan. Not a lot going on. Do not have rocket launchers as well. My other account does have rocket launchers. As things have moved to heavy choppers and or rocket choppers, rocket launchers aren't quite as useful. That is my tech tree. I've gone over it a couple times. I know I've missed a couple small details in previous videos, but I think that is an exhaustive look at my tech tree. Let's get into some attacks. Now, I might as well show you a couple replays um 220 against yoshi dog these kind of bases i am picking an ba an engine room and i'm barting it out in this case it's that one because it's the farthest away need to get into that back back corner then i'm just trying to reflare and moving away if i can not destroy all of these defenses i'm gonna be faster that's my basic dumb dumb strategy not a lot of smart stuff going on here just moving forward using my gbe fairly aggressively on barrages on artilleries let's you know what let's show a faster one i think i had a 238 or a 242 or something like that there's a 238 i think that 244 let's go with that one first we'll show that in two times mode this base was not good not good at all you'll also notice i'm using this left hand ramp a lot i know people seem to be gearing up for everyone using this ramp because it's closer but i'm finding there's a ton of bases that have a ton of weaknesses when it comes to that left hand ramp so my number one theme to this video is have a look at this ramp this ramp i am finding is so poorly poorly defended i don't know if that's just a fluke or but I mean, it's been happening a lot, and basically every single one of my wins has been coming from this left-hand side. So if you've been using this right-hand ramp, I think this left-hand side is just so, so poorly defended that it's worth ignoring this bottom engine room and or this ramp and just coming in from this left-hand side because it has been getting me some fantastic times. I have not been doing anything super duper clean. These aren't like smoky hits with great timings and seeker drops or split drops. It's just heavy choppa, rocket choppa, in your face, barrage, flare, shock, standard stuff. No fancy hanky panky goodness. Waiting for an opponent, hoping to get a six engine room base. Actually, even better is a five engine room base. I don't know what to do is the problem here. So um, I have not faced a five engine room base in a long, long time. I assume I can barrage it and or, you know what, I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm just going to hang out here for a couple seconds waiting for hopefully that their sky shield to go down. And if you're wondering what in the world I am trying to plan here. I'm just trying to get myself into a position where I can get every single one of these bad, bad mamma jammas into position. 
I'm going to try to send them all right over into here. And that was a terrible play because I thought I would have one more GBE and I thought I would be able to get a shock out. But it turns out, no, no, I can't. So really, really bad execution on my part. We probably are going to fail to start this video off because I was one GBE short. There's nothing worse than being one GBE. I guess there's being two GBE short, but you get what I'm trying to throw down here. Uh, we are getting in and amongst these engine rooms trying. I said I said it was not being fancy. And then the first thing I did is I went out and I tried to get fancy. Probably should have just punched this base right square in the face, but alas, I can't. As soon as I start recording a video, this tends to happen. Changing strategies, as it's kind of like as soon as you take a screenshot of your win record, it's going to die. It's going to go away. And I am probably maybe going to lose. Not entirely sure yet. We'll find out here in about three, two... Yeah, see that right there? That last rocket chopper getting hit by that cannon is probably... Thankfully, we had a two-engine or one-engine room advantage because that was not a clean hit. You saw what I was trying to do. I just did not manage my GBE well. I didn't. I have no idea how much GBE three rocket choppers or five rocket choppers, three heavy choppers cost, and that was almost the end of my streak. Um, almost by the end of the streak where I didn't fail and didn't leave an engine room standing. Um, big shout out to Mr. Squiggles, make many characters. Ah, I do not miss this strategy at all. Tanks are not for me on the regular base. They are not for me on warships. They're just so slow. So I'm going to skip out of that. We will move on. I will keep showing a couple other replays just because I wanted to show you that this left-hand side ramp is basically the perfect, perfect answer. Coming in here, getting some shocks out there and just letting our troops spread out. They don't need to go anywhere near this bottom stuff and just spreading out heavy choppers staying out front, doom cannons going down, back flare getting everyone tight into that corner and then just cruising on out. I think, yeah, there we go. So really, really can't suggest it enough. Do use this left-hand ramp. It is fantastic and so many bases are not set up well for it. My base is one of those bases, unfortunately. Um, same sort of attack would work perfectly on me, would set you up in a perfect, perfect situation. And we're going to have to wait a little bit for this person to finish because they're using tanks. And once you leave a spectate mode, you can't go back in and it still shows rank one. But that they fixed the Intel glitch. They did not fix so many other bugs in Boom Beach. If you're not sure what the heck the Intel glitch was, there was a glitch for the last about six months or so, where if you tapped your tummy and rubbed your head and, and danced in a circle, you could get guaranteed Intel on PvP. I know a lot of people were exploiting it. Um, I was not one of them. Why I never told you about it was because I will never be the one to release exploits. Um, it's just not something that we as boom tubers are allowed to do or suggested to do. I reported it to Nuno. Nuno was well, well aware of it before I could even bring it to his attention. And they chose to fix that instead of about 400 other bugs in the game. So a um, little bit disappointing. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there that uh, were taking advantage of it and the Intel fix the intel it basically fixed intel by being broken was kind of the easiest way to put it um not super duper awesome that it was in the game in the first place but just the fact they decided to fix it as opposed to 400 other things that are wrong with the game so uh, i don't honestly i don't i don't really care that it's been fixed i just wish they would have fixed more things um Anyways, moving on forward, this is likely, likely our boss battle, and I don't have anywhere to spend our GBE. I suppose it's going to be this back engine room back in here. I probably shouldn't be using it on anything to be completely forthcoming, but um, I've already started throwing my GBE back on that engine room. Might as well keep it up. Also, it's going to help us get rid of at least one more boom cannon, so not the worst thing in the world. The problem, my friends here, is that we are losing all of our 
rocket choppers right about now. Thankfully, that final, final heavy coming back over in front, hoping that we don't do what I think we're about to do. Boss battle wipe. I just absolutely blew it. I started to get excited, and I definitely, definitely shouldn't have, because we are going to lose right here, right now, and it's just, there was no reason to BART that engine room. It was just completely stupid. I just looked down here, didn't see anything, and now we are about to pay the piper. Losing the win streak, losing the boss battle, retreating, because you gotta retreat, you gotta be, you can't be. Derek, you whooped me. There's still a chance I'm going to take Derek down, but right about now, they've still got at least one Bombardier. You can't see them. I really wish Bombardiers were a little bit bigger. Why they made them half the size of everything else, I don't really know. But anyways, Derek has whooped our butts, and it was a just... Look at this. His time is something that I should have beaten. I've beaten it on every single one of my previous attacks. I saw that diamond marker, and I saw you and me getting to diamond as a team and I just blew it. So these things tend to happen. A little bit over dramatic. We'll be back. Uh, hopefully in two more battles we can get into diamond. Uh, depends how many we lose right now. That was frustrating though. I hate losing a boss battle and I hate that I changed my strategy as well. And I think we just got the basically the exact same base. That's kind of funny. Now, I'm going to stick with the exact same troops. That was a bit of a mistouch with my finger. That sounded a little bit awkward saying the words mistouch. Nonetheless, here we go. Bring in our troops in. If you're wondering why I dropped that last heavy chopper a little bit late, there is not a lot to that. I'm going to go like this. We're going to get rid of that doom cannon because otherwise it's going to do dirty, dirty, wrong things to our heavy choppers. Now we should be in a spot where... Hopefully we can get everything out front. Don't need to worry about anything at all, I don't think. I'm going to get rid of this one simply because it's off to the side a little bit, and I don't like it when I have boom cannons off to the side. We're going to throw a shock about there, moving our troops back into this corner, and that way we can hopefully avoid that boom cannon, get our troops a little bit more centralized and easier to control, and then we'll throw a shock on top of this stuff just because that way our heavies can get out front a little bit. Uh, we've lost one rocket chopper, not concerned about that at all. In that, Not even in the slightest. Getting our troops moving forwards right about now. This should be a win. Our time is going to be fairly good, but the fact that we've lost at least one rocket chopper, not going to be super duper perfect for us. So you can see exactly what I'm pointing at here. These troops just fanning out, clearing the minimal number of defenses. We're flying over on top of all the mines. And somehow we still have our two Zookas still alive and kicking from that one rocket chopper we lost. Now we just need to get this final flare right about now. We're going to throw a barrage on there, and hopefully we'll get back into our next boss battle just like that. That left-hand side ramp is fantastic. Uh, sure, maybe you guys are winning using that right-hand side ramp, but for me, that left-hand side ramp is just proving to be all of the good stuff. And this person decided to come in on this left-hand side ramp as well, and I think they're using all heavy choppa, would be my guess, and all heavy choppa just doesn't pack the punch that rocket choppas do. And more importantly, they cost way more gunboat energy. So um, maybe if you have those three gunboat energy nodes, that might be working for you. But for me, I find that rocket choppers just bring that punch and save you a whole bunch of gunboat energy. So um, I am missing one GBE node, but I believe I have two others. One there and one there. So three gunboat energy nodes would just be absolutely ridiculous. Um, in case I forgot to cover this, pretty sure I did forget. We've got max level barrage. We also have max level artillery. So many tokens this season. Uh, let's finally, finally jump up into diamond, shall we? Should be able to. My my base is doing incredibly well. I think at some point I copied Orion. I feel like way back in like. 16 or something like that. I don't actually know. Yeah, I think it was because he had a hot pot before I did, I think. Um, we are up against a five engine room base. That is absolutely perfect. I'm going to do the exact same strategy. 
There is no left-hand side ramp, but I'm going to pretend like there is, and I'm going to send all of my dudes up into here, and we are going to barrage this engine room because we don't want to go anywhere near that because we're just going to follow that back of the warship, and hopefully that's going to lead us to a victory. I feel a little bit dirty, a little bit wrong trying to do our boss battle against a five-engine room base, but that's just how matchmaking works, so... If we lose this, I am probably going to cry myself to sleep tonight, but those things, it has it, it's happened before. So anyways, all of our dudes coming in here need to get this back flare going right about now, trying our darndest to get this Doom Cannon down. That Doom Cannon does not want to go. Right about now, it would be amazing to have critters, but I just don't have anything to spend on it. So I had to choose between going offensive and getting... The critters are going defensive and getting um, a couple more boom cannons, and I chose defensive, and so far it's worked out, but man has it been testing, because I would love to have critters there. I think I would have been able to win, a l I'd be a little bit faster offensively, but definitely would be, wouldn't have the defensive punch that I do. So let me know which one you would have chosen, two more boom cannons, or the critters. I think the critters would, yes, I call them the critters now, would have made my attacks a little bit faster, but I think that I made the right call. This person using grenadiers and tanks, and they are almost in diamond at the five engine room level, so kudos to them. I would have never guessed that was possible. Guessing a lot of people are failing on their base. Um, that base was very, very straightforward when using heavy chopper, rocket chopper, though. Now, I've used three heavy choppers, five rocket choppers, basically every single attack, and it's been fantastic. Um, I've used two rocket heavy choppers, six rocket choppers a couple times, but just found that I didn't have quite enough protection out front. So um, if you're having success with four and four or one and seven or something like that, do please let me know. But I feel like this is the optimal set up and I just can't watch that happen. So we are going to move forward into Diamond, joining those top group in the New Zealand. By the way, big shout out to Mackett. Mackett and I were just in a task force versus task force war and we ended up not winning. We were first place the whole way through and then we blew it on the final operation. So big shout out to all of the people that took part. I believe Callus and Perrins and Crusader and Sven and Yalik took first place, I believe. If I missed a name, someone please let me know. I will be doing a wrap-up of that in the next day or so. I just wanted to let you know a little bit of a spoiler there. I'm also going to be giving away a boom tube, a boom box full of all sorts of boom beach memorabilia for a member of that winning team, I believe, is the plan. Um, not 100% sure. Might do it based on the best hit. The jury is still out on that. So do consider subscribing. Click the bell. All that sort of fun youtube -y stuff. Anyways, as soon as we move up into Diamond, assuming I do move up into Diamond, I mean, there's no possible way we can't, I wouldn't think, um, we will be calling... You know what? I'll do one more battle afterwards just so I can fall out of Diamond. I'm hoping not to park. Uh, my other account is down in like 18 or 19 or something like that, so I've got some work to do on it, but its tech tree is a whole lot different than this. So let me know if you think parking is the right idea. Based on this win-loss record, it's not like some seasons where like you win one, you lose one, and you move up like one star at a time or something like that. Feeling like I have a lot more love to give to the warships this season, so probably will not be parking. Come on, dude. I'm going to do a quick pause here. I don't want to keep wasting your time. Actually, you know what? Let's just jump back into the main... Oh, of course, of course, of course. So we have moved up into Diamond. That is fantastic news. Look at that. 25 keys in the Diamond chests. That is fairly significant. I believe the gold chest only had... 20, I want to say, but I can't click on that to find out, unfortunately. We can look at these to see how much they have, but I can't go backwards. I feel like they're not even close, though, so that's a fairly significant jump. What are we going to buy? What are we going to buy? Um, I already talked about this. More GBE. More GBE is just going to be utterly ridiculous. Now, some of you might be screaming out there, I should have gone for bullet. I think that more... 
I've got a, nothing is stopping my heavy choppers. The three of them, they're not dying so much, and Bullet would have been able to taunt and all that fun stuff, but I feel like more GBE is just going to allow me to barrage even more engine rooms. So uh, six engine rooms cruising right along. Oh, look at this base. Finally, someone spread things out a little bit. Very, very, I have not seen spread out bases in a long, long time. Quick note, do remember that mortars cannot see heavy choppers, so get, so cannot see rocket choppers, I should say, so get those rocket choppers out before your heavy choppers when it comes to those puppies. We're going to go like this, get rid of that boom cannon, because otherwise it's going to be able to snipe some of our rocket choppers on the corners, and then we're just going to throw all of our ridiculous, ridiculous amounts of gunboat energy at this engine room right down here. Now, I'm going to throw a shock about there, and then we're going to flare simply because I'm a little bit concerned that I'm not going to have enough gunboat energy. Um, I, Anytime I'm a little bit unsure of how much GBE I'm going to have, I tend to throw the shock first, then the flare afterwards, hoping not to have, hoping to avoid the screw-ups by doing that. And now we see how quickly I can fall out of the diamond tier. A spoiler alert on basically every other season ever, it's been after one attack, so I would not be terribly, terribly surprised if we fall out of diamond right here and right now. Now our opponent started like, I want to say like 30 or 40 seconds after us, so this when we finish is not terribly relevant. Just waiting for that final bit of gunboat energy that we can get rid of this engine room down here. That engine room is going to blow up, and now we're going to flare right about there, throwing out some shocks. We have enough for two shocks, which is basically unheard of, and now hoping that we can finish off this puppy right like that. Two minutes, 24 seconds. Decent times, all thanks to this left-hand side engine room and a little bit of luck and tech tree goodness. I think I said 224. This person's coming in with heavy choppas and bombardiers, and I feel like rocket choppas are faster because you're not hitting those mines, you're not getting hit by the shock launchers, and there's just a whole... Oh, they missed the shock. They missed the shock on the shock launcher. That's going to hurt a little bit. That's going to ensure that we can move on up this means that I did not jinx myself. Getting that first win in Diamond means that my chest tomorrow should very, very likely be in Diamond. So moving on up, doing very good things, feeling like a million bucks. Re oh, they used... Oh, they had extra GBE. That was very, very strange. Anyways, beat them by 12 seconds, move securely into Diamond at this point, and now I just need to catch Macket. One more battle... Do what? Yeah, you know what? Macket. Macket is now my boss battle. If we win this battle, we move ahead of Macket, which is basically a boss battle. So let's do... Oh, man, you've got a completely different base. Of course you do. Okay, so I'm not, I was very tempted to throw a Seeker up that side. We're not going to do that. What in the world? Ah, this is exactly what I get. I went ahead and got a little bit cocky. And as a result, we are going to run into a base that I have not faced yet. So this is a base that I have not seen anywhere yet on the archipelago. And of course, I pull up to it right about now when I was hoping to pull ahead of Mr. Mackett. So we're going to get a shock over here because my rocket chop is... Oh, I've already lost my rocket chop, heavy chop on that left-hand side. This is not looking terribly swimmingly good. So need... To get that, there we go. That's where that GBE came in. Very, very handy. And now I need to get a shock right there. We're going to back this puppy off right into here. This base is standing up incredibly well. This was basically built to be my kryptonite, which is a little lot bit, unfortunately. I've just lost another rocket chopper and getting my butt absolutely and utterly handed to me. I'm just going to hold those rocket chopper, heavy choppers over there for a second. We're going to use smoke for the first time in many, many, many battles, and then we'll come back over into here in a second or two. So now that that happened, we can finally get the rest of our troops over into here. We're going to throw a shock right about there. 
that shock was a little bit late because as you saw all it did was nothing and now we're hoping to get in on this final engine rooms and hoping oh that shock was just in the absolute utter nick of time so we are in a bit of a pickle my friends hoping to get this down but it does not seem terribly likely right now so i have just lost we are going to move down and mac it is going to stay secure in his higher rank than me for the moment so a little bit ridiculous making things up as i go along i'd really like this base if you're looking to counteract my left hand ramp do consider copying this base because that was something different and it worked very very well 157 by mr pahawk i think that's how that name is pronounced let's just show my replay i'm gonna quickly pause right there in case you want to screenshot that I don't even know if this base is good or not, but it beat my butt and it wrecked my win streak. So I'm not a heck of a lot of a win streak, but as you can see, I've been doing pretty darn good and Pahawk beat my butt. Anyways, Macket, curse you. You're still ahead of me. Everyone else, thank you for coming in. As always, please, please, it costs you nothing. It gives me all the warm and fuzzies. Please consider throwing code ZMOT. In your creator boost, you can cancel it at any time in case you're worried that you're going to forget tomorrow or on the weekend or get blackout and forget or something like that. Anyways, that is all for me. I'm Zedmot. Going to upgrade some mines because those Zookas curse them. I shall talk to you soon. Thanks for coming in. Do stick around. Watch my end screen. My supporters are there. They are fantastic if you want to join that list. It is very, very easy. Check the description down below. I shall talk to you soon. Thanks for coming in. I'm Zedmont. Peace.